welcome back to LGBT Snapshots. I am your host, Chad. It's silent film week, and today is Fiction Day. In 1923, the silent film Salome was made, and it may well be the gayest film in history. Based on a play by Oscar Wilde, the famous gay playwright, the film was shot in black and white, based off of the original play's designs by a contemporary named Aubrey Beardsley, who is also believed to have been gay. In his time, Oscar Wilde's plays were already considered controversial, but after he was publicly arrested, tried, and convicted for being gay, his plays were banned, and he died before he ever saw the play Salome performed. Decades later, the film was made, starring Ala Nazimova, a Russian actress of international renown, who was known even at the time, though not publicly, to have had multiple affairs with women, and it is believed that she had elaborate lesbian, lesbian parties at her home, events which she referred to as sewing circles. Nazimova, it is said, wanted to pay tribute to Oscar Wilde by having an all-LGBT cast. The costumes in the film were designed by Natasha Rambova, wife of Rudolf Valentino, and a lesbian. The film was directed by Charles Bryant, a gay actor and director. Considered one of the first art house productions, Salome cost $350,000 to make, an enormous sum for a movie at the time that stretched to barely an hour long. The film loosely tells the Bible story of King Herod's execution of John the Baptist, an act which took place at the request of the girl Salome, who Herod also lusted after. The two guard characters who appear in the film, if you watch it, are portrayed as very stereotypically gay, and many of the female characters in the film were played by men in drag makeup. In addition, the extras of the film were made up of many gay actors and actresses. The film wasn't released until years after its production was complete, and it was considered a critical and commercial flop, effectively ending Nazimova's production career. The film is still widely available, and is sometimes screened at LGBT film festivals and events, sometimes with a live orchestra playing the score. I hope you learned something today. Please like this video, subscribe, and share with your friends, and we will see you back here tomorrow for Gay Day.